What is up, guys? It's XMOS5 here with another episode of the XMOS podcast, and we are doing the summer edition, I guess. I, I just thought, I just thought that I kind of want to change change it up a little bit. You know, maybe we can make a different like screen for each like I don't know something special is happening, but yeah. So I made this, so it's just like the same thing. It says you are now listening to the XMOS podcast, and it's just a summer edition. I think it's I think it's good to look at. I just wanted to change it every once in a while, you know, like different seasons. I don't know. We'll just change it randomly, really. Whenever I kind of feel like I want to change it, that's kind of probably what's going to happen. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, I, I I made a summer edition because it's not technically summer, but tomorrow is my last day of school, and then we will be off for summer break, which this is awesome. Normally awesome. It still is awesome, but it just it feels a little bit weird that. I'm not at school when we get out of school because, you know, this whole quarantine stuff is kind of keeping us at home. That's too bad, but, you know, we're out of school and that's really all that matters. That's, I'm glad that we are. Um, I'm really excited for the summer. I'm not, I'm not trying to, um, you know, I know a lot of things are probably, might be closed during, you know, summertime. I don't know. I don't really know how things are really going to go, but uh, I'm just trying to think positively and you know try to plan things out or that we can do this summer and just try to like not think of I don't know maybe it sounds a little I don't know a little weird but I'm just trying to have a good a good summer like you know all summers should be but yeah so this summer I think well this isn't like all we're doing this summer but recently my parents have told me that we are going to go up to Branson and that's in Missouri, and that's I've I've been, I go up there all the time, and I go up there all the time to go to Silver Dollar City, which is my favorite theme park of all time. And I've been up to Silver Dollar City like since I was like one year old, and I've just been I I probably been to Silver Dollar City like a thousand times, like I don't know a ton. I know that park like the back of my hand, but this time, unfortunately, we are not going to the be going to uh, Silver Dollar City, um, and that's because you know this whole thing close the the park and this um let me just take you back to uh spring break now back at spring break we uh just me my brother and my dad were going to go down to branson and we found out that solo city was being was going to be closed which that kind of sucked uh because i was really excited because i wanted to go ride their new attraction the mystic river rapids which i'm so excited for that by the way and and I'm excited for this whole Solar City 10-year plan, but we could talk about that 10-year plan a little bit later in the podcast, but that's not what we're here for. I just want to talk a little bit about summer, but yeah, that's too bad. But we ended up, during spring break, we ended up going to, like, an escape room. That was pretty fun. It was, like, alien-themed. It was kind of weird, but it was pretty fun. And we also, um, yeah, we, we, we did some stuff. We tried, A lot of stuff was closed, but we tried to do, you know... We try to have fun with what we had, and I had fun. But anyways, summer is coming up, so we're going to go down to Branson, and we're not going to Solar City, which is weird because every time we go down to Branson, we go to Solar City. But this time, we are going to rent a cabin, and we are probably going to go, I think it's, yeah, we're going up to Table Rock Lake and renting a pontoon boat, you know, going fishing and stuff, and I'm really excited for that. I just love kicking back and going fishing. That that would be like my favorite place. If if I had you know a lot of money, my dream would be like to own a pontoon boat and just spend my days out on the 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 lake or the pond or whatever, and just fishing all day. That sounds really fun. I love fishing, but yeah. And we're gonna try to do other stuff. You know, we're trying to look at. There's a lot of different stuff that's open, but there's a lot of stuff that is also closed. Which that's weird, but it's just, this feels so weird, because usually, you know, you, I feel like everybody has felt this before in their life, even if you're not in school right now, you probably remember that feeling of the, like, the last day at school, just hanging out with your friends, and you're knowing that it's going to be the last time, and you're just going to see your teachers, even though you might hate a lot of, most of them, uh, but, you know, it just feels bittersweet, you know, and I don't know about, not, not bitter, but sweet, yeah, it feels good. You know, you know that feeling where it's just like, I don't know, it, you you get home and you're like, we have a ho- the whole summer to chill out. And usually how it goes for me is I, usually I'm like, you know, I'm going to hang out with my friends a lot, and I do, but 
I also find myself getting very lazy and asleep, getting a terrible sleep schedule, like staying up at like three till three in the morning and then like going sleeping all day. And that's I'm not gonna do that. I mean, when this whole like uh, pandemic stuff came, that just messed up my uh, my um, routine so much because for me, I have to get up and go to school. I mean, my bus. I don't usually take the bus, but if I did, the bus comes at like six. I think around 6.15, yeah, 6.15 in the morning, which is crazy early. I mean, it might not be for some people, but it's, for me, it is. And so basically, I have to get up at 5 in the morning because I, like, I, I'm so slow at getting up. But, yeah, um, and, yeah, once this whole quarantine stuff, I just, like, slept so much and ended up staying up way too late and kind of screwed up my stuff, but my uh, sleep schedule, but, you know, I'm just excited for summer and I'm not I'm trying to have a good sleep schedule because I found that sometimes staying up all the time is not the best thing in the world because it's number one it messes up your sleep schedule and number two you find that during summertime it's best to be awake for like all of the day because the day is where the most fun stuff happens in some cases but yeah because like um like whenever I was sleeping or I stayed up till three and I like slept through the day I just woke up at like one or two in the afternoon and I was just like I just wasted a whole day so that's not a good feeling and I'm not trying to do that and I'm just trying to you know just enjoy my summer as much as I can get up and just you know enjoy it and it's the weather is so nice here it is 70 I think it's yeah it, I was mowing just mowing out outside a couple hours ago and it was like 70 it felt so good. It was like that nice summer breeze, and it felt good. I'm. It really feels good. I know I'm repeating myself, but like, I just love summer so much, and uh, I feel like everybody does. And unless you're like one of those weird people who enjoys school, uh, number one, if who who likes school, and uh, I don't know. Just we're not talking about school. Try not to. And just the one of the good things though about this whole uh, quarantine stuff is that um, our work has our workload has been so easy. So I mean, I'm a freshman in high school, and that's not really you know freshman year is not is like the easiest year of high school. And but it it's it just we just the whole thing that happened made it so much easier because literally the work was dumbed down so much in this whole week. I, I kid you not, we have not done anything. In all classes, it's like, in all classes, it's like, if you have any work that you haven't finished, then finish it. And if you're done with everything, just you're done. And I'm done with everything, so it feels good. But, you know, there's always that one teacher that, you know, just has to, uh, you know, add a couple things. <clears throat> algebra, uh, you know, add a couple things where it's kind of unnecessary. We're like, you know, I'm going to send you this uh this worksheet online worksheet thing and I just want you to do it even though this is the last week of school I just want you to do it and that's always the worst but it's still good that most of the classes are easy and I've actually one of our classes in English is like we've been take, keeping a journal of this whole like quarantine stuff and like what it's been like and I, I don't know I think I thought that was kind of it was kind of interesting to do because I mean to be honest with you, the first few weeks were so boring and that, that just making a journal just made it like so, I don't know, it was something to do. But now I feel like I'm kind of used to this whole quarantine stuff because like I'm not really that bored. And if I am, I have things to do, like get on the video game, make videos. And that's why I, that's why sometimes I have been like rolling out video after video after video. Uh, and like I like maybe sometimes I've, I've been like releasing two videos in one day, which that's not that good to do. Um, but yeah. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I get, like, a big urge to just make a ton of videos, and I usually, like, go into YouTube and, like, schedule it to come, to, for the videos to come out, like, a different day, but sometimes I just want to just upload it, you know, I, I just want to get it out there because I'm just so excited about it. I just love making videos, and I'm going to continue that, but there is going to be, I'm pretty sure there's, there might be a week, I think it might be a full week where I might not make videos, unfortunately, and the reason being is that... Like I said, we're going down to Branson, and I don't know what kind of videos I'd make because I'm not going to bring anything. Maybe I'll bring a computer, bring a computer or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to enjoy myself, and 
I, I might find something, but I probably won't be uploading a lot. But don't worry, that that's not going to be for like another a couple weeks. I don't know when it is exactly, but I'm pretty sure it's in a couple weeks. And I'll try to push out a lot of videos, schedule them so I can make up for being gone. But I don't know, you know, I I don't I never know. I might make some videos, and I I, I don't know. Um. But yeah, so like this is the first time being back without a guest. So I hope you guys enjoyed our last podcast with the uh, Unaware Zombie or Andrew. Um, you know, I'm gonna, I might be having some podcast uh, uh, guests just that you guys are, aren't gonna know. Maybe I think most of the podcast guests are gonna be people you're not gonna know. To be honest with you, I mean, some of you might have know might have known Unaware Zombie because I've talked a lot about him in other videos, and but some of them are just going to be people that you have no idea who it is. And excuse me for a second. Yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. I had to do something real quick. But yeah, I'm just so excited about this whole summer thing. I know I'm kind of repeating myself, but I just love talking about summer. Now, if you guys have any summer plans that you want me to tell, you want me to know about, just comment down below. I love hearing people, things, I love hearing people, I can't, sorry, I'm just a little excited. I can't talk straight, but I just love hearing things that people are doing, and I'm really interesting what, interested in what you guys are doing. And just let me know in the comment down below, comments down below, and I'll be really interested to hear about it. Now, my brother has gra is graduating this year. Um, you know, hats off to him. But it, it's a little sad, though. I can see that, you know, you have you graduate without, you know, having the whole ceremony and things, the online graduation. I kind of feel bad about it, and... His, I think his senior trip, he was gonna, we were gonna go, they were gonna go down to Germany, cause he's really into music and stuff, and he was gonna go see like the birthplaces of, uh, I don't know, musicians, and I'm, I'm not really into that, but he is, and that's cool, but like I, we're not, cause of the restricted uh, travel thing, so that might be held off for a little while, but yeah, so if you're a graduate out there, I don't know if there's any like. Um, people out there listening that are, but if you are, hats off to you, but yeah, um, this summer I'm really gonna try to hang out with my friends as much as I can, you know, uh, I've, I'm already gonna, like, literally the first day that we're gonna be out on Saturday, I'm gonna be hanging out with one of my buddies, um, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, it's just gonna, we're gonna go down to his house and uh ride, ride skateboards around and that kind of sounds fun i guess yeah and yeah i'm just excited for just anything really summer is just so nice it, it's like because even like on the weekends that in school you like always have something that is on your mind like you're gonna have a test like especially in high school like you're at, you have a test that's gonna be coming up that's gonna be really important like a you know finals or something like that that's pretty stressful luckily we didn't have to do finals they just apparently we didn't, we're not doing that at all finals this year which that's awesome but i um but yeah because you always have something you need to look out for but just summertime is so nice because you have nothing like you know that there's nothing you need to look out for because you know you just feel free and uh recently to pass my time there's a show that got added to Netflix. I don't know if you guys heard about about this. It's called Avatar: The Last Airbender. Uh, and when I was a kid, I think I'm not sure how old I was. I was I was pretty young, but my dad used to bring back VH te VHS tapes from the library. Now these VH te tape sorry these VHS tapes were all like episodes of the Avatar. So like he would bring him back bring back uh, v uh, VHS tape from the library like every day and we watch an episode every day and I love that series if you guys haven't watched it if you have Netflix go check it out Avatar The Last Airbender it's such a great show and I'm actually re-watching it right now that's why I was talking about it I'm, I'm actually re-watching it right now and it is like even like it's not I mean it's a cartoon right but it's not like directed completely towards kids i mean it is a little bit but like it's just such a great pod or not podcast sorry uh you know show that you guys should really check it out it's been amazing even to watch it again so yeah i've, I've been doing that a little bit to pass free time i've been playing a little bit of custom zombies i have been working on a fire in the fire in the hole rec recreation on uh minecraft and that's been 
that's been pretty fun actually I, I, I at first I was like a little uh, stressed out you know but now I am not I have been kind of breezing through it I mean not like so fire in the hole if you don't know is a very detailed ride right just think of building that if you know the ride think of that think of building that in Minecraft that's what's like um it's been a little bit of a challenge because there's a lot of uh, details that you got to add in it you know there's a bunch of scenes you gotta do but you know I just I've been trying to breeze through it I you know I don't I try to play you know sometimes I'll play like Minecraft for a long time but sometimes I'll try to limit it limit it a little bit so I can you know have time to do other stuff but I've been really enjoying it and if you guys don't know fire on the hole but if you do I've just to let you guys know how far I am I'm not really that far but I'm at the second scene on the ride where I guess like the ball knobbers having a shootout in the where there's like a bar on one side and there's like a barn like they're kind of a shooting out and things are catching on fire. But yeah, that's kind of what I'm working on right now. It's been pretty fun. Um, been playing a little bit of zombies, you know, not not a lot, but just uh, just a little bit. And yeah, if you saw my uh, latest episode of Zo well, not my latest episode because. I uploaded another one today, but my latest, my other episode, um, is called, uh, Leroy Commits War Crimes. That was pretty frustrating. If you haven't watched, uh, the video yet, I won't spoil it for you, but go ahead, like, check it out. It's, it's pretty funny, uh, and very frustrating at the same time, same time, but if, yeah, if you haven't watched that, I won't spoil it for you. Just go back and watch it. It's pretty funny, but yeah, I, I, I'm having some fun, you know, I'm trying to have, I don't know, it's it's kind of hard, my sleep schedule is just messed up so much, like even I've tried to get through it, right, and like sometimes I'd make a point to like go to sleep at like like 10 or 11, but like I usually stay, so like I usually stay up to like 3, right, so I tried to, like sometimes I'd try to like stay up, or not stay up, go to sleep at like 11 or 10, and like it'll be like nine o'clock, right? And I'll be like, okay, I have a little bit of time to do something. So like I'll get into something and I'll be working on it, working on it, working on it. And then I look at the clock and it's like three a.m. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like I, time goes by so fast and it's just crazy sometimes. <laughs> and I don't know. It's been kind of frustrating because I've tr been trying to get back into the whole swing of things, but I'm pretty sure that when during summer it's gonna go back i'm trying not to have that happen but yeah so our last podcast was with andrew and we talked or i don't know where zombie we talked about a little stuff uh, i'll go through i'll go over a little bit of the stuff we talked about i'm not gonna spend too much time on it because you know you we already made a whole episode about that but um let's go through my topics i think we talked about top three or five games of all time and i'm just gonna give them off real quick my number five uh so like okay this is top five uh games video games of all time and at five i put modern warfare 3 or mw3 uh, that's because that's the game that really got me into multiplayer number four is gta because revolutionary game by the way it's just i don't know such a big world and I'm not really used to that. Well, I mean, the only game that's kind of like a open world like that that I'm used to is Assassin's Creed. But number three, I put Call of Duty Black Ops the original because like that's what got me into video games was for Zombies, the very first thing I ever played. Uh, num well, not the very first thing I ever played. The very first game that I've ever actually played was Need for Speed on the PlayStation 2. It's PlayStation 1 or 2, I'm not sure. But um, I think it's the one. But in uh, number two, I put Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Reasons because it has the best zombies out of all the Call of Duties. And I don't care what you say. Black Ops, and I've heard people say that Black Ops 2 is good zombies. They do. They have great maps like Mob of the Dead. Um, Origins. But they also have pretty terrible maps like Die Rise and Transit. And to be honest with you, so Transit is kind of like a bunched up thing of different maps but the maps diner and uh town i actually were pretty big fans of and i was a little bit of a fan of uh 
a bus depot just that map because it was just such like it's not it's not difficult at all don't get me wrong oh it is because like there's like no training space but i think it's in my opinion it's a laid back map because you open the first door and you're at, the mystery box is right there and you just kind of you know go with the flow but there's no pack a punch and very little perks which kind of sucks um and then number one i put minecraft obviously it is the greatest game it, i i stand by this this minecraft is the greatest game of all time and that's because like everybody who's ever played it loves the game and even whenever they get old of it they they they'll come back like i've came back to uh minecraft m numerous times like where i stopped playing it for a re uh, long period of time and i'll come back at it and it's a great game and i don't know where zombie or andrew did say that he didn't like minecraft and that is just blasphemy you can't say you don't like minecraft minecraft is the greatest game of all time and for an auto i didn't talk about this in the podcast last week but the honor I put an honorable mention, and the honorable mention is gonna be Planet Coaster because it's like you know it's basically my dream uh, game, creating a theme park and just putting roller coasters in there. And uh, the next topic we talked about was Fortnite versus Call of Duty. Now, obviously, that is easy. Uh, Call of Duty Fortnite is just toxic and it should die. It is that it is basically dead. Nobody cares about it anymore. They had to pay Travis Scott money to for them to get plebis. Uh, I can't, how do you say, plebis, I don't know, I don't, whatever, however you pronounce that word, publicity, 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 yeah, publicity, yes, that word, yes, so yeah, Call of Duty is obviously the better franchise, um, Call of Duty, talk about Call of Duty Black Ops 3, obviously, I already said this, greatest zombies game of all time, and a, a revolutionary multiplayer game because at first people did not like it because a new exosuit or not the exo yeah exosuits and like they're not really exosuits but like power suits or whatever because of like the double jumping and the sliding and that is that can be a little bit of an annoying mechanic but I think it's a great mechanic and but sometimes it can be very annoying and we talked about twenty Call of Duty twenty twenty we talked about that uh, Treyarch recently released like a thing it's not like a trailer for a new game but it they're just celebrating 10 years of whenever the first call of the blackout black ops came out and that was pretty cool maybe gave giving hints on the new game maybe uh that'd be cool maybe a remastered or just like a continuation of that game would be pretty dope and i was also talking about call of Duty 2020 blackout and zombies because they will be uh because of the success of warzone they will be bringing blackout unfortunately and the reason uh Call of Duty, or Black Ops 4 zombies was so bad is because they kind of pushed zombies aside and worked on Blackout, and they just let zombies to rot and destroy itself, which that was great move by Treyarch, by the way. Hopefully they don't do that again. Um, one place I would like to go, and here's another topic, one place I would like to go, um, I don't think, I think we kind of skipped over this question, but I think I would love to go, um... That is a Japan, maybe, because they have a bunch of different stuff. And theme park, ton of theme parks. I th I'm pretty sure it's Japan. I don't know. I don't know. But they have a bunch of theme parks, and the food, and just everything is so cool, I think. Okay, and then next topic is favorite theme park. And that's obviously Solar City, because just for nostalgic reasons, and I think it's a great park overall. I think they have everything that you'd ever want in a theme park, and they have revolutionary rides. Like, like okay... Yes, Time Traveler is a revolutionary ride. The biggest, the largest uh, spinning coaster, fastest spinning coaster, and the only spinner, spinning coaster in, to invert, which means go upside down if you didn't know. But, um, yeah. But if you look at, see, something that people look over at being a little, being unique is Powder Keg. Now, have you ever seen... A roller coaster that has a transfer track, a launch, and a lift hill all in one. That is just pretty crazy to me. I think it's awesome. It's a great ride. Um, and then next topic, favorite sport to watch is going to be football. Favorite sport to play is going to be basketball or baseball. Um, first ever game, and I already answered this, was uh, Need for Speed on the PS1 or PS2, I'm pretty sure. 
And then next topic is PlayStation versus Xbox. And honestly, I could say either way. Obviously, I'm going to say PlayStation because I grew up with it. But I think it's just, they're, they're both a great system. It just matters about what you grew up with. But, you know, PlayStation does have 100 times better, you know, PlayStation exclusives, uh, exclusive games. Until Dawn, uh, Spider-Man, just, uh, just name a couple. Um... And, and just better graphics card, and, yeah, and, what, Xbox has, what, Halo, okay, so what, I can go with that, without that, okay, anyway, but I'm not trying to start a war or anything, but they're both great consoles, but, and then, okay, next, uh, topic, I think I said, if you can, like, have any social media, and just that, I think I said Instagram, because, you know, I don't know, you could talk to people, I don't, I don't know, Instagram, or, in a close second, it would be Snapchat, uh, and then next one, we did a would you rather, and that was, we did like, I looked it up on like a game, it was kind of fun, uh, favorite place you've ever been, I'm gonna have to say, obviously, uh, or not obviously, cause you guys might have not known this, but, has to be Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, which is the roller coaster capital of the world, the best theme park, and, you know, arguably, and I think it's better than, I've never been to, but I can't, I can't say, but it's better than Magic Mountain, but yeah so yeah that will be and we just went over a couple things and i really hope you guys like this new screen thing it's like i think it's pretty cool i think it's pretty relaxing to look at and it gives off obvious summer vibes i mean if you couldn't tell the big thing the big uh letters on the bottom it says summer edition also just looking at it, it's kind of a beach and i, I think it's really relaxing to look, listen to and it just kind of gives off summer vibes and i really like that because i love summer who doesn't and uh i think that's pretty good for the podcast and if you guys enjoyed it comment down below what you would uh like me to talk about next and i will go in depth on that topic you know we'll go in depth we'll do some research you know we'll talk about it okay yeah, give me a topic or something you want me to talk about, which is a topic. Uh, I don't. I just basically said that twice, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Expert Mouse Podcast, Expert Mouse Podcast Summer Edition. Uh, yeah, go ahead and leave a like if you liked it, and if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and this is Expert Mouse Five, and I'll see you guys in the next one.